All rise for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, faculty, and staff, welcome to the WDSS announcements for Tuesday, January 17, 2023. Today is Nima Day. It is also National Benjamin Franklin Moon Day. The word day is countenance. It means a person's facial expression. Some teachers have a countenance that you cannot interpret, while others are easier to read. There will be an ice cream sale after school today, and there will be a bake sale after school on Thursday. The GSA club will be after school today in room 1221. The MAG Club will be meeting after school today in 11:18. As you may know, Miss Nunez is pregnant with her first baby, and everyone is begging her to tell them the gender. So far, nobody's got an answer from her until we came along. So, with her permission, we can exclusively reveal in a few minutes. Not just yet. You've waited this long, so you can wait a little bit more. On Wednesday, March 1st, DCS has the opportunity to host the SAT. If you are a junior or senior interested in taking the SAT that day, please complete the survey that was emailed to you on Monday. All juniors test for free. If any senior wants to try to improve their score or needs a concordant score for the Algebra 1 FSA, they will need to pay the registration fee of $60. Please complete the survey by Wednesday, January 25th. Beginning Tuesday, January 31st and running every Tuesday in February, Ms. Kramal will host an after-school SAT workshop. Please contact her if you're interested in attending. We have state testing this week. Grade 9 and 10 will take the ELA test tomorrow, and on Thursday, grades 6 through 8 will take the math test, except for those students taking high school math classes. You need to report directly to your testing room. Room assignments are posted on the main office front window. Make sure your laptops are fully charged. As you know, the first semester ends this Friday, which means all middle school students and seniors taking financial literacy or college writing will have a class change next Tuesday. The only middle school classes that are changing are the PE classes, Mr. Schofield's 7th grade classes, and Mrs. Schofield's 6th and 8th grade classes. All your other classes will stay the same. same. Students who have Mr. Schofield's 4th period and Mrs. Schofield's 5th period will report to Mr. Rodriguez and Coach Shabara, not first lunch. You will have third lunch next semester. Students who currently have Mr. Rodriguez's 4th period or Coach Shabara's 5th period will go to first lunch next semester, and then to Mr. Schofield in room 1120 or Mrs. Schofield in the Media Center. Okay, you've waited long enough. It's time for the gender reveal we promised you earlier. Are you ready? It's a... Girl! It's a girl! And now for today's feel-good news story. A few days before Christmas, a Louisiana mother called 911 in a panic because the sun was setting and her two young daughters weren't home yet. The girls, aged 7 and 3, had been outside playing for hours. They live on 6 acres of land, 
surrounded by forests, and their mom was terrified that they'd wandered into the woods and gotten hurt. After a rescue party spent four hours searching the woods, a neighbor helping in the search heard a dog barking. He recognized the bark as belonging to the family's golden doodle, Artemis. He followed the barks through the woods and found the dog circling protectively around the two girls, who were exhausted and scared. Artemis wouldn't let the rescuers near the girls until their parents showed up. Not only had he kept them company, he chased off a wild hog and let the girls take naps with him. The girls came home safe and sound, and now sleep with Artemis every night. And that's a wrap!